All right. So if we want to create a um, an item from uh, from our model, so what I will do is I'm going to start to create the angle here. So let's say my angle is angle 100 by 100 by 10. So 10 thickness, okay? And then here, one, maybe 600, all right? Now, on the, on the middle of this, okay, so let's say, right, right? So here, I'm going to cut using the polygon cut, all right? So one, two, then 300, and there you go. So now I have a cut, right? Then, in this case, I'm going to have now the uh, uh, the plate, okay? So let's say I will add a longer plate. So this one. So maybe I'll just do this one here. Or maybe the same. All right, so this this thing, I'm going to use the front and then move it here, All right? And then I'll just simply move this one, linear, let's say negative 50, move something like this or another uh, <clears throat> 10. So something like this. Yeah? So now what I will do is, because this one are two elements, right? Then this one is a angle. And now I will use my, I will use the add material. So here, attach to part. So select the part to attach to, and then select the parts that you want to attach. So I want to attach this one and then middle button of your mouse. So now this one will be one entity, but still called angle, still 100 by 100. Okay. Now, if you want, but this one's still not in the library. This one is still not in the library. Now, if you want to save this one as an item, so meaning later on, if you want to use this one, you just simply get from item and then bring inside the model. Because at the moment, if I want to use this one here, then I need to, I need to copy. Okay, so something like this. But not on the using the profile or using the item. So enable for us to do that. All you have to do is to select it or I can make it make a window and then right click on it. Oh, sorry. I think uh, I'll select this one. Right click and then here convert, create shape from geometry or convert part to item. So if I click either of the two, okay, maybe part to item. So converting part to item will delete the part. So all the UDL, oh no, not this one. Maybe convert shape to from geometry. Yeah, so meaning the new shape has been created. Okay, so what is the shape that has been created? So again, you will find that one inside the item here. And under the ungroup, you will find this one. See? So this is the... And you can rotate that one. See? So the size is a fix. It's fixed. It's fixed. This one, again, again, uh, uh, please take note that this one is for only the special buyout. You don't create this one if this one is something like uh, you want to change from time to time. No. This one is the special buyout that, you know, sometimes in our model, there's some special buyout that you just buy that one from the factory. So you just want, first is you want the code and then you want the quantity and then bring that one to shop and then let's say use that one in your model. So this is the, uh, uh, this is the situation in that case. So now you may ask, hey, the name. The name is B2 Angel, so that doesn't make uh, something like good because B2 does 3 and 0 Angel. So I, I want to, to name this one. So that one is not, you cannot 
do that one here but okay remember this one I huh? click OK now if I put this one one two there you go so this one but again the shape is this if you want to change this okay you need to go out from the model so well first it's you need to save this one and then here on the model folder you will find that one under the shapes or is it under the shape or shape geometries? I think shape. Yeah, the XML, this one. And then open with um, maybe open it using the notepad. Let's say always. Yeah. So if you notice here, you need to change this. So what do you want to put? Let's say, okay, let's say I'll put the code DM angle. Okay, much more better. DM angle or DM angular. Okay. Angu no no. Angular. Alright? And then save. Alright? So once you save that one, close it. And then here, all you have to do is to reopen the model. And then now, uh, you can see the, the new name that you have created. Okay, so this one, no. I need to go to the item. And then here and group the M angular right so now you can use this change the color and there you go so if you notice here see here you will not find any connection it's one entity okay so that one could be useful as well for you in case that you have this kind of uh, profile